So now that we've read pages three through seven, I want you to think about Clarice, and her words, her thoughts, and her actions. We're going to discuss the two questions on the slide. What did you notice about Clarice's words, thoughts, and actions? And compare and contrast Montag before he meets Clarice and during his meeting with Clarice. So now, Let's discuss. We're going to be looking at a passage that deals with irony. Irony is a literary device in which the use of words convey a meaning that is the opposite of its literal meaning. Sarcasm is an example of verbal irony. Dramatic irony is where we know what's going to happen before one of the characters do, do, does. So now let's look at a passage from what we just read on pages three through seven. I need a volunteer to read this. I also need you to take out your reading protocol, conversation stems, and discussion tracker handout that was posted with the lesson one materials. So we're going to consider questions two through five on the text analysis protocol, which is found on the first page of your reading co protocol, conversation stems, and discussion tracker handout. What do you notice about the author's craft, literary devices, and literary elements in this excerpt? How do the author's craft, literary devices, and literary elements contribute contribute to the meaning of the excerpt. How does the language of the text reveal the author's point of view? How does the language of the text reveal a theme or central idea? And remember, we have our themes and central ideas back on the anchor text theme tracker. When we think of firefighters, what When we think of firefighters, what do they normally do? How is what the firefighters in this text different from what the firefighters normally do? What do people usually think of when they think of reading books? How does what the firefighters do in this society contrast with our usual view of reading and books? So now I'm going to give you a few minutes to add irony to the anchor text theme tracker. Now when you're looking at the anchor text theme tracker, you're going to put irony under author's craft, literary devices, and literary elements. Then using the posted, using the excerpt and any other excerpts that we discuss and read today, I want you to list those pieces that from the book that illustrate irony. Then I want you to tell me what those passages mean in the text. And then I want to I want you to see if you can connect it to any of those four themes that are on the first page of the anchor text theme tracker.
So let's check and see how close you were to completely filling out that first row of the Anchor Text theme tracker. Now we will be adding to the irony row as we find more evidence and examples. How does yours compare? If you are missing any of the information listed, go ahead and fill it in on your chart. Congratulations! You have now finished Lesson 10 of the Fahrenheit 451 unit. In this lesson, you learned that Montag is a fireman who burns books and homes. You also analyzed word choice and irony and how these elements contribute to the development of a character and themes in a literary text.